Uh, this video, I want to basically show you how to get up and running on Windows with uh, Symphony 2, and I'm going to be using Easy PHP in this tutorial. Uh, primary reason I'm going to be doing that is because WAMP, I believe you have to get the Pro version in order to you know, set up a virtual host easily. And uh, Easy PHP, they have a module that's completely free and makes it a lot easier to handle. So, first off in this video, we are going to install. Easy PHP, which is very simple. You go to Easy PHP, you install this right here. Let's see. There we go. There's the link. Skip to the direct link. Yes, we want to run it. And go ahead and accept the agreement. And you sit back while it installs. And while it's installing, go ahead and uh, get uh, Git while we're at it. Um, you will see there is a link to get get from Say yes. Make sure you click on the Git Bash. You will want that. And this will actually adjust your path variable and put Git Bash in there. Let's just do git bash. And, uh, I really like using this instead of a uh, p link. Um, check out window style, commit Unix style land line endings. We're going to do check out as is and commit Unix style line endings. Let's go back over to our easy PHP install. Right here we go, looks like easy PHP is installed. Go ahead and finish. You'll see it says unable to execute file, all that fun stuff, uh, doesn't matter. It says you need to elevate it. No, you don't. Let's go over here, easy PHP, go ahead and run it. And it starts up just fine. Where it's starting right now. Go to administration and you'll get a cute little menu for that. And you can actually install extra versions of PHP. Say there's a something another version out there that you want. Uh, you go back to easyphp.org. You go to components, and you'll see there's all these other versions. And you simply click on it, download it, install it, and everything's peachy. And just to show you how that works, we'll go ahead and install 5.48. And getting that is pretty much just like getting the regular one. You click there, you get it, you install it. Um, though I already downloaded it earlier, so. Let's run it. So 
startup agreement and there's something you might want to notice. You have to explicitly tell it easy PHP. It doesn't have that already and it's uh, ready to go. Fresh, and you can change to it on it. And let's go back one. Now let's browse our local host web. See if anything's there. Not much. You can drop files in there and all that other fun stuff. Though most likely you'll want to have your, you know something like that. Which um, we'll get to that in a second. First we're going to go ahead and uh, get um, Symphony going. Which is very very simple. First you want to get get bash up. Alright. And uh, maybe it's not so simple because you type PHP and uh, nothing's going on. What's going on there? Alright, don't worry, don't worry. It's not too hard of a situation to deal with. You want to go to PHP where the version is that you installed. Since we're on the 548, go ahead and click on that. Get this path right here. Press Control C. Go up to your computer and get the properties of it. Advanced System Settings and Environment Variables. What we're doing here is we are adding the path to PHP to the path. All right. So go ahead and get that right there. Semicolon, paste the path, press OK, click OK, OK, and uh, let's go ahead and restart the Git Bash shell. PHP. Oh yay, it finds it, but now you have all these other issues. How are we going to fix that? Uh, don't worry, okay, you covered there. Let's go back over here. You need to find your configuration file. Open up with your favorite text editor. I use Notepad++ on Windows and you're going to have to find the variable that looks like this everywhere in here it's a little meticulous all the places you have to edit that's okay Okay, make sure you save that document. Go back over to your Git Bash shell. Oh, you have to type Control C to get out of that. All right, now it says it can't find this Yaz4 DLL. What the hell is Yaz4 DLL? I never heard of it. Um, so maybe it's something important. I just don't know, but I don't see any problem with disabling that. Go ahead and save. All right, everything's peachy. Now, find a, dire uh, a directory somewhere you want to go. By default, I believe you're in your home directory, which is users slash your username. So, create some project directory you want there. I, it's called projects for me. And then uh, you're going to get you'll see here there's this command it's basically getting it from uh, Composer's website. Git Bash comes with Git Composer. All right. Curl comes with uh, Git Bash. 
just have to type that directly in there. It downloads it. Go ahead and get ready for the next command we're going to type, and that's uh, a little further down. This is the first way it tells you is how to do it from a, a tarball or a zip archive, which uh, we are going to do it directly with Composer. Symphony Framework uh, Standard Edition. Call it uh, Sim Demo. All right. While it's uh, installing everything, we're gonna show you how to set up the virtual host. Remember how I was saying how we'll mostly like want to do something other than local host to get to it? Well, this is where we're going to be pointing to is the web directory. So, just go to that directory and uh, press control C for that whole path. And you're going to go to your easy administration. Alright, now modules, you will notice we don't have a module that I was talking about. Go back to your easy PHP page, go under modules, You'll see virtual host managers. You'll want to download that just like the other packages and install. Go ahead, accept the license and all that other fun stuff. And you gotta type in easy PHP there. Install, finish. Yay, it's there. Go over here. You'll want to refresh. Go ahead and click on uh, the virtual host manager. And you'll notice an issue here it can't uh, write some stuff. times it looks like it's doing fine. We'll go ahead and add it and if uh, local sim we'll call it path hit red and save. Eh, it worked fine that time. Well, If you notice any of the problems with it um, sometimes it will say it can't edit the host file. You'll want to go to your program files, use PHP and what I did last time is I right clicked on this and went to properties uh, security. Where is it? Oh, I already have it clicked on. That's why. By default, it doesn't do this. You'll want to put run this program as administrator. So if you have issues there, just simply click uh, run this program as administrator, and it'll overcome the issues you'll be having. Likewise, the local sim. That's the thing we added. It'll take us directly to the directory. It's not really going to do us any good right now because. I believe we're still, yeah, we're definitely still setting everything up. It's generating an auto load of files. Right here, this is the default Symphony 404 page. So you know it's definitely there. Go to Sim Demo. That's the one we're doing, right? Yeah, Sim Demo. Um, composer. You want to move your composer to this directory. And what right there, the MD command, that's a uh, Unix command for move when you're in git bash. You're basically using a, a little mini version of a SIG Windows, um, which actually I might recommend to use instead of using git bash, but both work just as fine. Maybe in the future I'll show you a simple little tutorial how to use SIG Win, which actually makes some things a little easier. After we went ahead and updated and uh, got the fresh stuff, you'll want to prepare this thing to work with the database. Well, actually, I believe the default sim the installation just kind of works. Go to app dev. Yeah, there you go. And uh, from this point, if you Reference back to the tutorial over here. The regular Symphony installation that tells you how to configure database and get going.